Our basement is beautiful, and now we need to finish the addition. If you hear anything starting to slough, just make sure you're like one way or the other of where the snow's gonna come down. The weather is truly testing us. It has snowed a little over five feet. But nothing can stop Trent from plumbing. Look at this photograph! Oh my God. Not even a little unexpected avalanche. Still going. You might be trapped. Oh, <laughs> we're never getting out of here. We're buried. What's up guys and good morning. It has been a wild weekend. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> He's alive. alive. How'd it go? How's the room though? It was great. Yeah? It slept very well. The mattress was okay? The mattress was good. The, the whole vibe of the room was very relaxing oh, good. and quiet. Cool. And, uh, you slept was, through. I slept through. It was just, just what I needed. So it was, it was good. Nice. Thanks. You guys good. did a great job. We're happy to have you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's not bad around here. Oh, good. I'm glad to know that. I can, I can work with it. Very nice. Thank you. What do you want, Dom? I want to take a nap. You want to take a nap? Really? No. I want to take a nap. It looks uh, pretty gnarly outside. Yes, it? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> We're just getting started for the day and I'm about to drink my AG1. We have been drinking AG1 for years and absolutely love it. And AG1 is the sponsor of today's video. AG1 is a foundational nutrition supplement that supports whole body health. It's comprised of 75 whole food sourced vitamins, minerals, adaptogens, prebiotics, probiotics, everything you need to support your immune system and keep you running strong. Especially during the winter months when it's kind of cold and flu season and everybody around us is getting sick, it's really important to make sure we're getting all the nutrition and all the vitamins that we need to keep ourselves as healthy as possible. And that's why we rely on AG1 every single morning to make sure we are just starting off our day right, no matter what else happens throughout the day. And during these winter months, we always add in some D3K2 drops to help support our immune system. I love it. It tastes great, it's so refreshing. It's the perfect drink before my coffee. Don't worry, I still drink my coffee every single morning. But I just know that it sets me up right for the rest of the day. We've noticed huge benefits and we know that you will too. If you haven't tried AG1, now is the perfect time. If you click our link in the description below or go to drinkag1.com slash trentonally, you'll actually get five free travel packs and a one year supply on your next purchase of vitamin D3K2. Thanks again to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna finish up my drink and we're gonna get to work. Good morning. Hey, how are you doing? What is it? How are you doing? You're gonna drink. Hey guys! Hey! Yeah. You might as well wait 20 minutes and we can do this do all over. Again. Yeah. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize it was gonna snow another 24 inches today. Really? Yeah, that's what Trent just said. I'm going home. I know! <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. Well, do you wanna come in and get warm for a few minutes? Sure. All right, it's a gorgeous morning. The snow is coming down and uh, we are getting to work back in the addition. It uh, is officially a winter wonderland out here. Um, since the last time we picked up the camera, it's been a couple days. It has snowed a little over five feet. We've been snow blowing and shoveling and building fires and doing all the things to try and stay warm and dry and keep the snow at bay. 
It's been wild. Uh, Russell's been here. He's really enjoying the room. He's having a great time. We've been having a lot of fun family time. I'm trying to cut down some kindling right now so that we can build a fire. And then we're gonna get started working in the addition today because uh, even though it's freezing, we need to get the plumbing done. Can you help, Leo? Careful. Very good. Very good. You're sad about the block? Yeah. But you put it in the fire. We're supposed to burn it now. Anything that goes in the fire is gone forever. Yeah. Including you. If you go in the fire, you're gone forever. That's why we don't touch the fire. Mm. Yeah. Because it's hot, right? Oh my goodness. This is yeah, this is intense. <laughs> Have Not we talked about exciting. your black hiding? I don't remember. I think so. It looks so black today. <laughs> yeah. I got bumped in the orbital bone. Not even hard. Not by just, me. Just a little bump. Not by Allie. Just a soft bump on my soft skin. <laughs> Give me this nice shiner. <laughs> It is snowing pretty hard right now. We're going outside, we're gonna regroup with Brandon and Grayson, then we're heading back into the addition. We're gonna get to work on the plumbing. Wow. It's gnarly out there today. Stay, Dugs. They just shoveled. Yeah. And snow blowed and everything. Whew. Oh my God. Hey, Brandon. Hey. Weren't you gonna snow blow this deck? Yeah. <laughs> About four inches ago. Look at that. That was like less than an hour ago. Yeah. Oh. That's insane. At least it's light and fluffy. <sighs> okay, let's get back there. Ooh. It's very treacherous. If you hear anything starting to slough, just make sure you're like one way or the other of where the snow's gonna come down. So if you're closer to the building, just get to the building. If you're a ways away from the building, just try to move away. There's a lot of snow up there right now. <sighs> wow. Look at the snow in those windows. Those windows are going to be not functional. <laughs> we won't even need curtains. Let there be light! Wow, that's bright! That's bright enough for yeah? sure. Yeah? Is it warm though? I mean, it kind of feels warmer than up there. Really? I don't know if I'm, maybe I'm just really cold, I don't know. Wow, it's way warmer. Is it? It's nice down here. <laughs> I mean, it's freezing, but. Yeah, you could like have some throw pillows and a car. I don't know about all that. <laughs> Nice and comfy. It honestly feels like we could build some more bedrooms down here. It feels really comfortable. A little short. A little short. Some <laughs> short bedrooms. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. Play-doh? Okay, have fun. Bye-bye. Thank you. Oh yeah, it's like geothermal in here. I could work in this. Yeah. This feels nice. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be like absolutely frigid down here. Yeah, it's not bad. I don't really know if this is the right way to do this, but it's the way we're gonna do it, is we're gonna start at the drain going out of the foundation. We're gonna work our way all the way up to the top. I don't remember if you're supposed to start at the bottom or start at the top, but 
we're starting at the bottom. <laughs> and uh, we anticipated it being absolutely freezing down here in what is essentially like a root cellar or like a, you know, a giant cave underground. And it's like actually warmer in here than it is in the addition. And, you know, maybe it's because of like geothermal, I don't know. It's like, <laughs> it's warmer in here than it is in the addition for sure. No so, complaints. I think uh, basically you're gonna start by cutting into this poop tube and letting all the sewer smells come up here and maybe that'll heat it up a little bit more. <laughs> I guess without further ado, let's start uh, cutting pipe and gluing it together. Yeah, yeah. Seven layers. Oh, yeah, seven layers. Go through more floor joists up there. Oh, there's a beam under that wall, so I can't do that. Whoa. Oh, all right. It is absolutely freezing down here. As you guys can see, my breath is condensing immediately. We got this section of drain completely glued and put in. Now, I think we're gonna go upstairs and uh, at least assess the shower in the master bedroom and, or the master bathroom, and then the, the tub and the sink and the toilet in the main floor bathroom and figure out kind of where those are gonna come through the floor. And then I can figure out where I need to start building this pipe back to catch all of those locations. Hopefully we can get this done quick because this is brutal. crazy how weird the timing has worked out because while we were building out the basement bedroom for my dad there was no snow the weather was mild it was clear it was exactly what we didn't even realize we needed in order to finish that bedroom really fast and now that that's done my dad is here the weather has decided like okay release the snow gods go crazy and it has been just non-stop snowing which is fine we're just doing plumbing on the addition now but it is really convenient how the weather worked out that way bunch of snow honey bunches of snow starting at the top I thought I we, were, doing. we were starting from the bottom now we're here we are, we are starting from the bottom but i'm just trying to make sure I can get this toilet flange into this bay, and then this bay is gonna determine where that pipe's gonna come down mm. so that I can connect it. To be honest, I don't know what I'm doing. And uh, we're always winging it around here. We're winging it really hard right now. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out uh, if this is gonna work or not. And like always, we're doing a little trial and error. So I'm gonna cut a hole in the floor and we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> here we go. Okay. As long as we get the exact same toilet that we have in our master bathroom, then there should be like an eighth inch between the drywall and the toilet. Oh man, this is the worst part. You gotta do this right now? Gross. To be completely honest, I do not want to do this right now. <laughs> no poop has gone down this pipe yet, so it's nice and clean. I could eat off of it. I dare you. Smell it. I change your mind. Up there. <laughs> it's up there, isn't it? No. <laughs> All right, so I always have trouble when I test fit things because I'll test fit it. Like I just pre-built that whole section right there. And then watch what happens. We're gonna prime and glue these. And as we start to glue them together and we get up there to the top, we're gonna have some problems. I can just already tell. So we're gonna do our best here. Um, I'm basically about to start uh, priming and gluing the first fitting. And once we get this little section built right here, we can move on to catching the uh, second bathroom. And I guess we gotta figure out where that shower is gonna connect upstairs. But for now, I'm gonna finish this piece. All right. Trent's favorite part of the day right here. Look at this photograph. Oh my gosh. Please no. <laughs> you know, my dad said he wanted to come out and witness the magic of the glue. 
I should tell him it's happening right now. Yeah, it's not last one out here. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cold. <laughs> it's snowing pretty hard, and uh, this morning my dad's plan was to leave around like mid-morning, maybe after lunch, go to the gym, go do some stuff in town. And he came upstairs after getting some work done this morning, and he was like, yep, I'm not going anywhere, <laughs> which is a smart move considering how much it's snowing. So maybe he'll go to the gym tomorrow. <laughs> Today's about glue. How does all that primer get out of the can and off? Pipe number one. <laughs> Any other song? <laughs> yeah. You've got five more minutes, Brandon. <laughs> Think about what you've done. Yeah. Stop talking. <laughs> I think it's snowing harder now than it was before. Great. Four inches on it yeah, probably. You do look like you're in timeout over here. I just feel like I'm in timeout. Facing the corner and Very everything. Cool. <laughs> a lot of thinking, a lot of problem solving happening right now. There's only two bathrooms, which is great, and there's no kitchen, but in this upstairs bathroom, there's a separate tub, a separate shower, a separate toilet, separate sinks. There's just a lot of pieces in this bathroom, and they're all spread out all over the place. It makes it a little difficult to figure out how to catch everything. I just realized I haven't accounted for the tub at all. Oh yeah, there's a tub in here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I haven't even thought about the tub drain. Yeah, two sinks, shower, tub, toilet, and they all need to drain into like a weird spot. It's gonna be a huge pain in the butt. Let's go down and figure out where those holes need to be, uh, what we have to do down there, and then we'll be able to do the rest of the crawl space stuff. It's cold, it's snowing, we're confused. <laughs> it's been a rough day. <laughs> we're warm enough. Oh, it feels much warmer in this the party. room. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. This is much nicer. I'm gonna go make myself a hot drink because I'm freezing. Did you take a nap? No. Why not? I don't mama chapstick. You want mama's chapstick? Mm. No, silly goose. No. You look nice and warm and cozy. You guys look like you're having a blast. I'm trying really hard to think of things I can be doing inside, but I really need to go back out there. Even though it's absolutely freezing, I'm gonna go do some plumbing. See you in a bit. Got it. <laughs> see a toilet flange hole. I see a sink drain hole. Yeah, I see, got some. see that you started one hole and then decided nope. Oh, yeah, there's a beam right there. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Whoever built this place just put beams everywhere. <laughs> It's type two fun. It's the type of fun where in the moment it's miserable, but looking back on it, you're like, hey, we did that. We made it work. That was awesome. So just give yourself six months and then you'll really enjoy this part. <laughs> there's a beam under everything? There's just beams everywhere. <laughs> and anywhere there's not a beam, there's a foundation wall. It's like <laughs> plumbing this is literally the most difficult thing ever. <laughs> The real issue is that when we built the main part of the house, the bathrooms are stacked one on top of the other. So it was really easy for everything to catch each other because it was just nicely stacked vertically. And now the bathrooms are like scattered all over the place. And even within the bathroom, each drain is scattered with the tub and the shower and the sinks and the toilets. They're all in different parts of the bathroom itself. So it's just very uh, contrived and a little bit more complicated than last time we did this. Why can't any of this just be easy? That wouldn't be fun. The problem is with these beams is that they're structural beams, so you can't like cut them or alter them in any way because that affects the load that they carry. And 
This is probably like a plumber's worst nightmare, <laughs> if I had to guess. Um, there's just no easy way to get the plumbing down. And most plumbers would probably just be running it down the corner of the room yeah. and calling it a day, because that is the easy way to do it for sure. I would prefer not to do that. So I'm racking my brain, trying to figure out ways that we can do it without doing that. I think I can do it. I think he can do it. So I think. Aww. Do you think he can do it, Grayson? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Grayson. <laughs> <laughs> Grayson's like, we don't have a very good track record. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the toy's right on the No. going. We might be trapped. Oh, <laughs> we're never getting out of here. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. We're going to have to come in through the window. <laughs> the, oh my God. the roof finally slept. There was like four feet of snow on, up on the roof. Yeah. And we had the propane heater on to try to melt it because it wasn't sloughing. Left. It was also we're like that doesn't sound like plumbing. Noise. I know. <laughs> yeah, well, at least we know the roof slops. It's good. Yeah. Crazy, right? Oh Try to open that door. There's some up there. How wild is that? Well, this answer is still a little bit up there. Mr. Leo. I do. We're buried. That is gnarly. Those are big chunks. Too. That's like taller than you. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh that would have killed somebody. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it's a good thing nobody was out there. Jeez. Are you coming out? Yeah, I want to look around. <laughs> Be careful. Go get it. Ready? Oh, oh yeah. I'm feeling a little bit defeated, but I feel like we made some progress. We got some of the pipes glued and put in place, and uh, we are figuring out that we need some extra parts. So we got all the fittings that I thought we were gonna need, but I think you know going around some of the beams and then bringing pipes down in different spots than I thought they were gonna be in, we're missing some 45s and some different fittings. So We've made a list. Uh, we're gonna pick up that stuff either tonight or tomorrow so that we'll be able to finish doing a lot of the drain tomorrow. And uh, today, we're probably gonna call it a day as far as plumbing goes. Um, I do need to go out and probably fire up the skid steer and then start snow blowing and trying to remove all the snow that just sloughed off of the roof because I think it's pretty gnarly out there. There's probably a giant mountain of snow completely blocking those doors. So now we're gonna have to find our way out of here and uh, try and go snowblow all that stuff. So wish us luck. It smells like a fire. All you can hear is the sound of the snowflakes. There's nobody out. It's cold, but it's pretty beautiful. What is it? What is it mom would say? You guys are insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys are insane. She said it a lot better than me. <laughs> <laughs> what smells like uh, wood burning? Fires. Fire. I mean, it's got a beautiful, quiet winter wonderland feel. Yeah. 
Should we go check out the damage? Yeah, yeah let's go check yeah. it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is unbelievable. <gasps> wow. I mean, that's a lot of... Uh, that's heavy. Now, so. It was probably four feet deep. <laughs> no, it was fine. Well, at least you got a clean roof now. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, this is... Uh, you know, some of this stuff is quite heavy. Oh yeah, you would die if you were under this. I mean, this is, this is heavy. There's no uh, digging you out of here. <sighs> You have to wear a beacon walking around the house. Yeah, seriously. They can find you. <laughs> no. And it's up to your thigh, or I mean, uh, shin, calf. I don't know. Now we begin snow removal phase two of the day. Oh my goodness. I don't know how people live like that. <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> you need a ski lift to you know get up here. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, you did there. Oh, okay, I was gonna help you. But... Do you want help? No. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> you snow bug yesterday. I know. Crazy. It's out of control. Yeah. And it's the end of the day and all I want to do is go take a shower and sit by the fire, but instead I got a snow blow for two hours now. We love it here. <laughs> Push that snow. I don't think you can see because of how hard it's snowing, but my absolutely favorite part about all this is that my dad is just standing in the snow, videotaping all of us on his iPhone because it's just so crazy to him. And he hasn't been up here in a snowstorm in at least a year, in a long time. So it's like very new to him. Um, and it's like fun having someone that hasn't experienced this for a while. We kind of take it for granted. It's very familiar for us. And it's fun seeing him be like, wow, this is amazing. This is crazy. You guys are insane. Um, but he's definitely enjoying it, which is the best part. <laughs> My dad and I took a little tour around the neighborhood, introduced him to Cody, one of our good neighbors, and came back to the entire driveway being totally plowed, nice and smooth. Looks great. What did I do? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that arms up. Flex arms up. Music. That's who we are. <laughs> Mom taught me to put my arms up. Yeah. Remember Neil Young? Yeah, it was Neil Young. Or something. Of course. Keep, uh, keep on rocking in a free world. Right, right. Thank you. Thank you. Leo, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Leo. Cheers. cheers. It has been quite the day, and I will say that the end of the day was quite a bit better than the beginning. After we did all the snow removal and we were freezing in the addition and doing all of the plumbing, then we came inside, got warm, built a fire, made food, had a good time with Russell. It's, uh, yeah. It's been really fun. It's been a full day. And um, 
my mom feels like she, it feels like she's here, you know? We were talking about her, we're making jokes, like we know that she would laugh at them. Um, they're making fun of me, reminding them of her. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it just feels good to talk about my mom. So it's been wonderful having my dad here. Um, and just... Our cup overfloweth. <laughs> been good <laughs> anyway i think yeah. this is where we're gonna let you guys go so if you enjoyed coming along on today's adventure make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already thanks again to ag1 for sponsoring today's video click the link in our description to check them out and we'll see you guys on the next one adios